We podcast Melee, guys. We podcast for a price. Please don't hit us up asking for listening to our podcast as if we don't put all our time and talking into this podcast and you're going to listen to our podcast just for free while we're podcasting at you. (laughs) Fell apart a little bit there at the end. I think I nailed it. Your analog episode something. 29? <laughs> something like that. 30? That's crazy. Yeah. We slowed down. We were going so we did, fast yeah. for a while, and then we've had to take uh, breaks for many reasons. Yeah, I recently. did the math a long time ago. I was like, all right, Ultimate's going to come out on analog episode like 36. <laughs> oh, <God>. oh, <laughs> and we man. see how that turned out. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. Seven back. Yeah. Uh, yeah, guys, Ultimate comes out in, as, at the time of recording, three days. I mean, less, like less, two and a yeah. half days. Yeah. Uh, which is crazy. Crazy. Yeah. So we're mostly going to talk about that. Also, because like there's not that much melee stuff to talk about other than the tweet we just referenced. <laughs> that was really all that happened. And a couple of DKs did well last weekend, and that's it. But Rishi doesn't want to talk about DKs who aren't himself. Exactly. So, so no interest. Yep. Uh, <laughs> I mean, yeah. even all the melee players these days have their eyes on ultimate. Like everyone, I think, is pretty interested in trying it. Yeah, Plup's been tweeting about playing it a lot. I yeah. know Rosie. Oh, that's actually the one thing. I, I shouted this out in, in last week's video, but we never talked about it. Uh, you saw JD's... Um, yeah, the uh, PR rep. Lo-fi PR. Mm-hmm. That line about Rosie was so fucking fu- funny. What did he say again? He said... Uh, it, I forget how it starts, but then he goes, How's he never getting punished for these full hop nares? <laughs> yeah. Precarious aerials. It's just a Rosario. Yeah. <laughs> I remember now. So good. That was sick. <laughs> it was three clips of, of Dark Tooth just <laughs> full hop nearing across the entire stage. <laughs> so that's what, uh, back in MDVA, we like to call the Jerry. That's the Jerry? Yeah. Oh, God. It's yeah. so funny. You know who did that a lot? Uh, who doesn't play Fox or much Melee at all anymore? It's Cal. Cal was a big full hop nearer. He still plays. He's just not as like in the spotlight right okay. I, like i see him at tournaments and stuff anyways anyways we're not talking about melee guys we got sucked in yeah the devils um game. although it was melee's 17th birthday yes yeah happy, one of the like happy birthday five 17 i know the 17. north american birthday yeah, yeah i posted about it on instagram i specified <laughs> north american birthday um, um we just like to celebrate our game yeah and i gonna, think it was it was spark who tweeted how come melee has six birthdays I saw that. every yeah. year yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's really funny, funny. Uh, yeah, okay, so... It's about to be Smoshultimate's birthday. Sm- is that what we're calling it now? Smoshultimate? Smoshultimate? No, it's it, Smoshultimate. It sounds like you're playing, like, a word backwards. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, Beatles... Backwards, it's actually Super Smash Paul Brothers McCartney Ultimate. dead. If you say style. Super Smash Brothers Ultimate backwards, it's Smoshultimate. Smoshultimate. Close. I was just trying to do the backwards sound. I got it, yeah. Sorry, what, what, what inklings sound like, too. Yeah, it actually is. It actually is. Um, uh, transition. Which melee player is going to be the best at Smash Ultimate? Yeah, so uh, every poll I've seen or, like, thread about it has been like, so is it going to be Michu King, Mango, Leffen, Hbox, Armada, or Plup? And it's like, probably none of them may be Michu King. <laughs> Yeah, right? of those, of those. Like, Mewtwo King's the only there. one of them who okay, if you really... Have to rank them in order, it would be M2K first. And then... Hbox. No. Yeah. I, I would not put Hbox a second. No, because he's probably... I'd the, put Plup next. I think it's probably about the same as... Or as, Leffen. As Smash 4, right? No, I, no, no, no. Because you think Leffen and Plup are actually going to put significant time into Ultimate? First of all, I think Hbox sucks at Smash 4. Yeah, but he's better than Leffen and Plup. Because they put literally no time into I know, I know, I know. But I, I think I, I think they're it. actually going to put time into Ultimate. Okay, okay, you're right. You're right. So, I would like to revise yeah. my opinion. So I would put uh, Mewtwo King first, yep. and then actually I might say Leffen. I would say Leffen. Yeah. He actually has more experience with the Brawl games. Also, just when he decides to sit down and stream a game every day, yeah, like yeah. he gets kind of good at it, yeah. <laughs> regardless of what the game is. Then Plup. Then Plup. And then, then, then Hbox. 
I don't know, dude. I think... Oh, Armada. I forgot Armada. Yeah. Then Armada. Because he's definitely going to be playing it for, and then, for streams. Then HBox and then Mango. Like, de it depends on how much they're going to play. If Mango plays, I would put Mango over HBox. I don't think he'll ever play as much as HBox. Dude, the stream, though. You know how much he's going to be playing on his stream? Like... I think he'll play... Mango rotates games all the time. I think he'll play it for, like, four or five months and then stop. Hungrybox still streams Smash 4, dude. Game's yeah. three years old and dead, and he still streams it. All right, my final answer is is Mango and then HBox. I think HBox then Mango. For sure. Okay, we'll see. Yeah. But we agree on the the first four. Uh, Armada could be overplup. I think I just forgot him while I was listing. So I might say yeah, maybe I might say Mewtwo King Lef and well, Armada because I definitely see Armada putting in more time than plup than plup. I yeah. think I think. Leffen, it should be interesting to see. He seems I like think he's genuinely yeah. interested in it, but again, if he ends up not liking the game, I see Armada streaming it more because he's not competing yeah. in melee. I, I also think there's like a maybe like a 20 or 30% chance that Leffen's better than all of them at Ultimate. Yeah, I, I could agree with that. Maybe even more than 20 or 30. It's really just whatever the probability of him liking the game and deciding to stream it a lot is. Yeah, I could agree with that. We'll have to see if M2K finds a character he yeah, likes. Because that, exactly. that was the issue for M2K always, is that he didn't have a character. He yeah. hated Marth. He played Donkey Kong for a while and was probably the best Donkey Kong in the world. That was uh, that was largely my issue in Smash 4 too, which is not finding a character that you really liked. Mm. And I think it honestly comes down to the engine. Is like, If the engine is fun, then you're just going to want to play the high tiers because sure. they're the ones taking advantage right, of the yeah, engine. Of the engine. Like, that's yeah. how it works in Melee, that right? That makes sense. Yeah, no, totally, totally. I think, um, I think, uh, I don't remember what I was going to say, actually. I don't know what I think at all. It's just... Wizzy is also a candidate, depending, again, on yeah, how much he likes it. Yeah, I like, guess. He played Smash 4 for a bit, but he was pretty mediocre at it. I remember relatively. he was talking about, he found some tech chase. Yeah, 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 he's been talking about that a bit. Um, I talked to him about it a bit at Summit, too. Yeah. He's, like, if he can, I don't know, I mean, he's... Good at every Smash game he plays, right? Except Smash 4. Yeah. But again, Smash 4 was... I think of all the Smash games, Smash 4 was the least inspiring to grind. Sure. If that makes sense. Yeah, sure. Even though Brawl is a frustrating game, it has a lot of technical <clears throat> stuff in it. I put... Yeah. I could sit down and play Brawl for like 10 hours straight. I could never do that with Smash 4. Sure. Um, did you see... I, this is what I was going to say. So I was talking about how M2K... Has uh, you know he had a character crisis in all of Smash Four, and they eventually settled on Cloud, mm -hmm. and then and he was one of the better Clouds, and then everyone started playing Cloud, and that's sort of when he quit playing Smash Four. Yeah. Um, did you see Cloud's nerfs? Uh, not the exhaustive list, but I've gotten. Oh, a sense. you're trying not to get spoiled, right? Yeah, I haven't looked. I mean, I I see stuff here and there, but like I know that Cloud's uh, limit only lasts a certain amount of time now. That's a big one. I saw a clip of his falling up air. That was the one I'm talking about. I more. saw that and I was just like, that's good. Like, <laughs> No, it's definitely good <laughs> yeah. for the game. It's just, it's like, a, it, it's a huge nerf. I'm like, wow, I feel more inclined to play Cloud now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, was a, it was a weird feeling doing that to yeah. Cloud. Because Cloud, Cloud's best so, approach was option so was, dumb. was falling up yeah, air. you jump at them and you up air. It was so <laughs> stupid. It was so dumb felt weird and it looked weird and yeah. I, I actually think that the the new mechanics are going to reward other sword characters more than cloud because they can now do running normals oh yeah 100%. and cloud like he didn't need to slash he had a sliding down tilt but now that sliding down tilt relatively is pretty bad yeah i mean his sliding down tilt wasn't amazing as amazing anyways but and he definitely got something like cloud's forward tilt is really good yeah it is so running turnaround forward tilt is and, good and being able to cover your your retreat with uh turnaround four tilt as well yeah exactly that, yeah that's more how i was imagining it um yeah we'll see movement looks sort of cool you you had a tweet that said i'll be more excited when i can tell ultimate and smash four apart from third with, within with 30 seconds. Yeah, within 30 seconds. Yeah. Because most clips I see, I, I have to look really closely. And now I know, I have, like, more easily, I know the cues to look for. Like, you look at the percents or something. Mm -hmm. But when I'm watching, like, mid-level Smash 4 players play Ultimate, if there's no cues, I can't tell. <laughs> I get that. You know, until I really see something specific in the gameplay. Yeah, people have been posting a lot of training mode combos. Uh, pretty much all of them are fake. 
Uh, but the part that makes it cool is that you can tell they're fake because trading mode includes DI now. Yeah. Like it has the the visual indicator. The same thing that the twenty XX does, the draw DI thing, mm -hmm. which is super cool. Um, I like that a lot. Yeah. Uh, I mean, there's so many like just quality of life features that they added in the Smash Ultimate that basically yeah. every Smash game was severely lacking. Yeah, I have to figure including out, melee. I have to figure out who I'm gonna play in Smash Ultimate. So I, I think on the show on Cheddar on Friday. We're going to do me 1v3 versus <laughs> our two hosts and our executive producer. Mm -hmm. um, it'll probably make me turn team attack off. Uh, that sounds awful. Yeah, but I don't think it should be a problem because I, the one with the most experience with video games out of all of them, one of our hosts, I played him. We had worked together previously, and I played him in four, which I'm not good at, and he would like straight up run off the stage and die. Wow. Like He just does not play Smash. So it'll be very good. Uh, it's, I think it's going to look a lot like Reggie versus Hungry Books. Yeah, that was. That sounds like it'll be really entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm trying to figure out who to pick, though. You want to go through the roster? Oh, God, Talk I about guess. Who, who you're interested in? Yeah, sure. Since I have it pulled up here. Sure, yeah. Using the handy uh, poster roster app from Warchamp. Okay, um, Mario, not interested. DK, not interested. Link, uh... So who's the first character you're going to play when you open up the game? Because there's only eight. Uh, oh, 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 there's only eight. It's actually first... these eight minus Dark Samus. Yeah, probably um, Pikachu, since everyone says that he's the most likely to be the best character in the game. Okay. And he looks pretty fun, honestly. Yeah, um, I, I think he looks fun, too. And Pikachu's high on my interest list. Yeah, uh, Pikachu, Fox, and Link will probably be the first ones that I, that I try. Mm-hmm. Uh, Link looks way more fun than in past games. He looks oh, yeah. significantly faster. Uh, he still looks like like a slow character, but with sort of like fast burst moves. Yeah. And his new specials look cool. Fox is a classic and just fun to play in general. So, especially Fox will be, I think, fun to test out movement stuff with. So. Yeah. Yeah. What about you? Who's the first one you go? Kirby. Link. Link. Yeah. Uh, I thought about it, and. I think because of how much I like Breath of the Wild, yeah, it just kinda, that's what that was what drew it, me to it. Too. I just kind of felt like it'd be fitting for me to play Link the first time on on this game. Yeah, if Luigi were an option, I would play Luigi right, first. Yeah. But God. since he's not, the it, costumes in this game are, are so sick. sick. Yeah, so Link will be first, and then probably like DK Kirby and Samus in some mm -hmm. order. Um, I, honestly, like all of the original eight. I'm pretty interested in trying out, except for like Mario, Fox, and Yoshi. I'm not that interested in. You're not interested in Fox? No, I really didn't like Smash 4 Fox. It just feels really? like, it just felt like playing, you know, spacey light. Yeah, I agree, which is probably why I was fine with Smash 4 Fox, because since I played Smash 4 so much less, a lot of the time it just felt like Smash Light to me. Yeah. So it was a pretty easy thing to just play Fox and be like, oh, I, d yeah. I, did I didn't up tilt up here? Holy shit. I know, right? I think that works. And he's got so much dome cheese, like the runoff forward air thing. Like, I like so that a lot. I think it's I cool. I like that stuff. I think that actually makes Fox very unique. Yeah. I don't know. I am interested in Pikachu, though, uh, mm -hmm. just because, like, uh, the more movement options. I mean, yeah, more the, movement options. This Pikachu is the first time they've good. added movement options, like since Brawl. Right. Like it's just been taking away since then. Yeah. So Zero and Isam have both made a ton of videos on why they think Pikachu's the best, and there's a lot of them. So uh, Pikachu. And that can like that can literally change on Friday. No, it totally can. You know? But it is pretty compelling, I'll say. Yeah. Pikachu's dare is a spike now. Pikachu's dare is a spike and it can't be teched. It can't be teched. Uh, Fair is is still as good. His Nair is Mewtwo Nair now. Yep. And uh, Amazing recovery. Um, amazing recovery. And combos. His, the fact that air dodges are nerfed benefits Pikachu a lot. For offstage edge guards. For offstage edge guards, especially with Thunder. Yeah. Uh, you just Thunder in place and it hits you and there's a wall that they sort of have to get hit by yeah. a lot of the time. I'm really excited, man, to just get start labbing. Like, I, every time I look at one of these characters now, it's like, I'm either totally uninterested <laughs> or, honestly, there are a lot of those that I'm just like, like, I don't, I don't want to play Sheik. Like, yeah, me neither. <laughs> I don't want to play Ness. But, like, I want to figure Ice out some Icy's desyncs, yeah. you know? Like, some yeah. of the clips I've seen of Icy's desyncs, like, yeah. it's like, oh, this is a zero death. It's like, well... 
it's not really a zero death. But once you get some actual good technical players playing ICs and, right. and learning their desyncs in neutral, like that's going to be sick. Well, and also I think a lot of these combos we're seeing, they're not true, but they are maybe the level one DI mix up. Exactly. Like the, yeah. the, the Falco combos I've seen are just like, if you hold away, it doesn't work. Sure. Like at all. But the maybe ICs combos, yeah. it looks like if you did a different thing after They're the probably some mix maybe you'd catch them with for it, sure you know? for so, sure so that's cool and then uh daisy and peach i haven't heard a single person describe to me the difference between these two characters yeah me neither. so uh really looking forward to someone figuring out what that is i've seen some cool combos from them uh that are again not true but are similar and that it doesn't look like holding away would just get you out yeah it would put you into like peach a, also has up. one of the best skins in the game the gold the one. gold dress yeah mm. i think that's sick interesting um uh yeah. lod tweeted today saying that peach and ultimate but might be the kind of peach that he's looking for oh. which you know if you're a peach main should mean you should be to you. you should be watching his stream because yeah. he's going to teach you what to how to play this character okay let's go luigi maybe uh zelda new zelda looks interesting yeah i'll definitely be putting time into zelda if not as a main but uh then at least because she looks really fun. Mm -hmm. And because for, I've said this so many times, I'm sure on the podcast and on my stream, I've been waiting for a Zelda that's well designed for so long because her she's such a cool character and like they've botched her design so many times. Yep. Uh, yep. And this times it, it finally seems like they got it right. She was one of the first characters I tried in the demo too, so. Yeah, we were talking about, uh, I, I really like actually that they've leaned in the direction of, so there's a, a fighting game term called Okizeme, if you guys don't know, which is like, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's uh, like setups after a knockdown basically, mm -hmm. so like delayed projectiles and stuff. And Zelda's sort of always supposed to have been that character to me. And now uh, they finally. Like it's how PM went with her with the detonatable yeah. dim fires and stuff. And it, it goes well with her lightning kicks being like a strong poke that is the other end of the mix-up. Yeah. And so with Din's fire and the knight, Nairu's wind even is like a delayed multi-hit attack. It's all very classic Oki stuff. Also, Din's fire doesn't put you in a special fall anymore. Yeah, exactly. So so the fact that with Phantom and, and Din's fire and stuff, it looks like she can actually play that mm -hmm. way, it's it's cool. She's and she be has, interesting. And she has aerial drift. Yeah. Her up B is really, really fast, Yeah. Uh, which is sick. Uh, also, I mentioned, when, when you talked about that last week, uh, or the week before, whenever we talked about it, I mentioned that Samus might have the same thing with her strong missiles. I looked at a clip more closely. Uh, I think she has that to some extent, but it also looks like there's mad startup. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like, even though there's kind of a delay before the missile fires, mm -hmm. she's also just, like, in her animation, which just seems pretty dumb to me. So, sure. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, Pichu looks well, semi Doc, for one thing, I think is going to be sick. Because of his spike? Because of the spike and his pills are apparently have like set knockback or something. Something crazy. Oh, that's crazy. So if Doc is good, like I would bet that Doc, that boss would be a top player if he decides to travel at all. I don't think Doc will be good. You don't think so? No. Okay. We can talk about that more in approximately one character down from him on the, on the list of okay. stuff we're looking at. Okay, sure. Pichu looks fun. Pichu looks pretty good. Yeah, I'm really ex excited to play Pichu. Really excited to play Team Aqua Pichu. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Although Goggles Pichu is still a classic. Goggles yeah. Pichu, you cannot deny. Yeah. How about a uh, Focus Sesh or Focus Band Pichu? Yeah, Focus Band Pichu is good. I like that. <laughs> Spike, spiky eared Pichu, obviously. Uh, yeah. We talked about that. Uh, I'll definitely play a little bit of Falco, Martha, and Lucina. Uh, F Falco looks at least a little bit better. Martha and Lucina, I played in, in a. Uh, in Smash 4 a little bit because they felt at least yeah. like some of the concepts translated. All those characters look pretty good to me too. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll definitely be trying both Martha and Lucina. And Falco looks so much better to me or at least like more clean, cleanly designed in this game than he did in Smash 4. Yep. Like his, the, his finisher on his rapid jab is like a little kick at the end and yep. I don't know, just little things like that that make him seem... I don't think he's going to be good, but... Yeah, probably not. It'll be more fun to play. Uh, Falco in Smash 4 was so funny. Falco's back throw in Smash 4 is the funniest move in the entire Especially when it through. kills. Because it's a kill throw almost. Yeah. But it looks so stupid. He tosses them back and they just float there and then the lasers hit them and they do more knockback than and, any yeah. other laser ever I, has. I, I played Falco for a bit in Smash 4 or in the, in the early days while I was still trying to find a character I liked, but we know how that turned out. Um, Yink. Yeah, Yink. Link Nino. Yink looks okay. There's a lot of hype about Yink. Yeah, every, a lot of people are interested in playing this guy. Uh, I mean, it seems fun. Yep. Gorf. 
Yeah, also people people kind of stopped talking about Ganondorf, but they'll probably start playing him again yeah. once the game actually comes out. Moot. I want to I wanna try out Mewtwo. I don't like not being able to double jump cancel, like, because of his double yeah, jump. Yeah, I agree. But he can do running down tilt now. Do you know if his Shadow Ball has a, a hitbox I don't know. while he charges? No. Because it didn't in Smash 4, and I didn't like that. I would assume it doesn't now either. Okay, because Lucario's did and his didn't, which made just no sense. That does make no sense. Uh, Roy, 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 we don't need to talk about. I want to talk about Chrom. Okay. Because a lot of people have been saying that they think, like, if you look at, like, Ally and Zero's tier list and stuff, they literally just don't rank Chrom. Or they put him in his own tier with um, Little Mac because of how terrible his recovery is. And his recovery is truly terrible if you've seen any clips of it yeah but he looks super super sick on stage Dude, everyone changed their mind i said since day one that Chrom was going to be good because it's roy's moveset without a sour spot yeah it's roy's moveset without a sour spot which is super super sick uh but he just has a really really bad recovery he has ike's recovery but worse. without the side b <laughs> without the side b and he he doesn't uh roy, ike t- tosses his sword up for the aether and it spins, and then he goes up and gets it. Yeah, he's like Crom a... jumps immediately as he does it. No, I thought there's like a startup to it. No, he jumps with the sword, dude. I could have sworn I saw him like, like do a slice up and then jump up. Maybe, maybe you're right. It still looks different than Ike's. Okay. It looks worse, I think. Okay, I'll have to take another look at it. Yeah. Uh, game so, of Watch. So I don't care about game, the black and blue. Yeah, that is a six game. <laughs> They're probably all based on characters from his game, because that's what Lucinas are. Yeah, yeah, I think they are. I don't remember. I, don't, I haven't played Awakening in a long time. Um, game & Watch is whatever. Uh, his forward is a bomb now, dude. Wait, what? You didn't see that? No. Instead of the credit card or the box or whatever, yeah. he actually literally drops a bomb. Oh, that's cool. Like, he can jump over someone, drop the bomb, and then double jump ahead to, to catch the knockback. Oh, that's fucking and cool. And combo with, like, down that's air sick. or something. I like that. So he has, like, a Ken combo kind of. I like moves like that in general. Yeah, it's, I mean, there, there hasn't really been a move like that in Smash. Like, Bowser Jr. is probably the closest thing. Like, or, Yeah, but it's a normal. Yeah. Which is really bizarre. Yeah. Uh, Meta Knight, I have seen some clips of Meta Knight, and they looked very true. Yeah, they're like, all right, we'll, we'll fix Tornado. So now it's not a multi-hit, and it's not annoying anymore. Instead, it just kills you. <laughs> Out of up air. I, so I, I loved... fucking character, dude. I loved Meta Knight as a character. I loved him in Brawl because he was really, really fun. Obviously really good. But more than that, he had, like, cool movement, sick combos. Uh, he's fast, strong. And then Smash 4, like, he's still good, but he felt so clunky and heavy to me. Mm-hmm. And it felt like he was Kirby fighting with a toothpick. Mm-hmm. So far, what I've seen in Smash Ultimate makes me more interested in playing him than in Smash 4. It seems yeah. like his range is better. I don't know how clunky he's going to feel yet. Hopefully not clunky. Yeah. Uh, but now we're seeing zero death combos from him. Yeah. And those looked true. They did kind of look true. They looked quite true to me. Also, I don't think anyone's SDing. That's true. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see. But they do look, regardless, they look strong. Tornado looks busted. Yeah. Is the thing. The horizontal knockback near the edge. Yeah. Like, anyone off stage, you don't need to combo into that. You just go off stage and you tornado. Yeah, As exactly. long as you're above the level and yep. you'll make it back. That mm-hmm. looks, that looks pretty, pretty strong. Pit, Pitu, don't care about. There's, there's Samus, don't care about. Wario, don't care about. Re- Return of Snake. Snake's got some stuff. Yeah. I've seen some stuff. Snake's gonna be sick, dude. He's Perry, cool character. Perry up tilt. Yeah, God, we'll talk. About, let's get through the character list quicker, quickly, so we can talk about everything else. Isla, Ike looks good and fun. Pokemon trainer looks Ike. fucking sick. Pokemon trainer is my number one pick right now. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. Um, Which Pokemon? Probably main Ivysaur. Same. Yeah, Ivysaur seems like the best for playing neutral with. Yeah, I I think Squirtle is gonna be good too. Uh, and ho- I'm hoping I like Charizard more than I liked him in Smash 4. Yeah, he feels weird in Smash 4. But he I'm, feels worse in Smash 4 than he does yeah. as a Pokemon trainer thing in Brawl. But I, I love Ivysaur's moveset. Yeah. Just like in general. Uh, Diddy, whatever, Lucas. Diddy's bananas are uh, stronger now. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah they don't send you sideways and they don't disappear after one use. Oh, that is crazy. Lucas. 
Some people are saying Sonic is good. I don't care about Lucas. Yeah, DDD can like spit items. His his new back air drawn. is disjointed. Yeah, and, I saw that. And fast. Yeah. Uh, all of our people are saying this character might be a problem. Yeah, we'll see. Because the mechanics are different. Lucario, whatever. Rob, whatever. <laughs> I did see. So I saw a tank clip, right as I was coming over here. You can drop the bomb at any point. So it was a clip where Tink is holding a bomb and Cloud F smashes him, and then in the middle of the F smash, like Tink gets hit by the first two hits of it. You can drop it on command? Yeah. That's so stupid. Yeah. So this character is going to be fucking annoying. Is it just him, or, or can Link and Young Link also do it? I only saw that it was Tink in the clip. That, that's going to have to be tested pretty quick. Yeah. Woof. Very excited for Woof. Yeah, he's uh, my, my next pick. Yeah. I think as as is, he should be everyone's. Anok uh, has has argued to me that Wolf is a bisexual icon because of the jacket he's wearing, and I think I'm coming around on it a little bit. Okay. Uh, you know the bisexual pride or the bisexual flag colors are are like pink, purple, and like blue. Yeah. Uh, he is basically wearing a bisexual flag. That's true. So I I do know you know Wolf has definitely been there's a lot of. Uh, material out there with him and other Star Fox characters. Don't tell that to Seagull Joe. He'll get really mad. What? Yeah. Wait, what? Yeah. He 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 does not like uh Wolf being sexualized in any way. I want to find his tweet on it. <laughs> what the fuck? I just saw Star Fox, but uh I'm going to I'm going to find it. Okay, anyways, I'll just keep talking. Uh, Wolf might be the bi bisexual icon that, that we deserve. I do think he's sassy. Um, I, I definitely gave Anok a ton of shit when he said this, but I think it was more just because it was Anok, and I probably will be playing a lot of Wolf. Also, his moveset looks so fucking sick. Yeah, he said, I'll only give strikes, saying like, strike one to unfollow someone. Yeah. He doesn't want people to sexualize his character or say something absolutely ridiculous. And then they're like, huh? Like what? And then he said, Wolf is a character I've used for 10 years. I love his gameplay and his background. He's the only character I've ever cared about. Basically my fictional best friend. Whatever. And that was uh, it. I mean, we can stop talking about Seagull Joe so. now. How did we get onto this? <laughs> Yeah, Wolf it's looks not, sick. Yeah. Wolf looks sick. The animation on his side B looks fucking sick. Yeah. And Chillin designed him. Yeah. Do you guys see that? That was so cool, because Chillin was in the PM back room and said that Wolf's side B should be able to be angled, and then they put it in the game. So, so there's your first warning on Wolf. Uh, Villager is Villager. Mega Man is way worse now, probably, because there's no footstool combos. Oh, there aren't? No. What? Do you not know about this? Remind me. You can tech footstools. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We, we fit, whatever. We fit, whatever. Rosaluma, whatever. I think Little Max is going to be so much better. Yeah, because of the movement. Yeah. Running tilts, hello. Yeah. Although, if you can't cross up your opponent. Yeah, that that does suck. But, like, his, he has such good reach anyways. Yeah, yeah. No, totally. His pokes are amazing. His four tilt's amazing. Uh, Greninja also may be a little bit dead without footstool combos, but still a sick I think I think Greninja will be fine. Run, yeah. Running down tilts. Okay. I it, Just a lot of the identity of the character will change. Yeah, for sure. I think it'll change for the better. Okay. I think footstool combos are boring. Me Fighters, probably going to not be banned this time. Uh, Palutena's... People are saying a lot of good things about her. Really? Yeah. Oh, I saw I saw Plup said he was going to put in a lot of time with I, her. I keep hearing people say like how complete she feels and like how smooth, how good her combos are. Interesting. Uh, I haven't seen too much personally. But a lot of people, like multiple people have said they're really excited to play her. Interesting. Or they've been playing her because they're bad Nintendo boys. Uh, Pac-Man, whatever. Don't care about right? Robin. I have, I've always really liked Robin's character design. Yeah, me too. Um, apparently Thoron is now kind of like finishing touch where it does 3%, but it 
kills you. That's cool. I, yeah. I do like that because Thoron... There was no reason to use it before. Thoron always felt... Yeah, it felt stupidly weak before. And yeah. That, like, you should always use El Thunder, which is the x crackly That's Arc one. Thunder. Arc Thunder. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, the Arc Thunder. Because Arc Thunder was shield pressure and it did more damage because yeah. it would lead into combos. Yeah, the problem now, though, like, that was one of my favorite parts of playing Robin in Smash 4. Robin was one of my temporary co-mains. Mm -hmm. Uh... You can't do Arc Thunder into Grab anymore because it doesn't last long enough. Or at least it's way harder. You can probably still do Arc Thunder into Fair or something, though, right? You might be able to. I, that, I, that was a standard. I remember Robin seeing thing some before. clips. Yeah. Um, but even if not, it can still be used as pressure on Shield. For and sure. Stuff, which is cool. Um, and it's cool in teams, too. Uh, Robin also has the Leaven Sword on Nair now. Yeah. But also doesn't start the game with Levin Sword, which, like, I don't think that's a big deal. You can also track the uses, which is definitely a quality of yeah. life thing that should have happened. Yeah. It might be a nerf to Robin. Mm. I don't think it matters. You don't think it matters that people will be able to, see, other people will be able to see? Uh, you could always kind of get a feeling for it anyways. Maybe you could. I don't know about that one. I think a lot of people it, it think. I think it depends on how prevalent the character is, right? Like, if Robin were any threat anyways... Then people would learn. Yeah. I understand. I understand. Shulk also got maybe the biggest quality of life changes of anyone since he can like instantly Yeah, no, you don't have now. to like, how many times do you have to press B? Yeah. You just have the same muscle memory no matter what. But, to what, be honest... What are these new... These must be from the new Xenoblade games, right? Yeah, that's like probably Rex or whatever. They're so His skins look so different. Yeah. Unless I just don't know anything about Shulk. Bathing suit's still there, though. Yeah, still has naked Shulk. Uh, he's probably still going to be bad, to be honest. He's just a slow character. I saw that a lot of his aerials got improved. But Sulk is also just, like, a slow character. I know he has speed, but... <laughs> I hope he's good, because it'd be sick to see Zero play him. I know Zero loves Shulk. Yeah, it's, like, and his he said, favorite series of all yeah, time. Yeah, he says if uh, if Shulk is good, he'll play him. Yeah. It'd be sick to see Bowser Jr. be good, too, because Tweak's Bowser Jr. was one of the greatest things in yeah. Smash 4. Yeah, and his cloud's pretty boring. I would also love Duck Hunt to be sick. Yeah. I I get so annoyed fighting those characters, so I don't really I don't want them to be good. See, I, I love I'd rather them. I guess I'd rather them be good, so I have a, a solid reason to learn how to fight them. <laughs> I'm clearly not gonna play this game as much as you, uh, and so I'm still mostly gonna do it as a spectator thing. So, so you, you don't want a money match? I mean, we'll money match. That's fine. You'll okay. destroy me, but sick. Yeah, sure. Uh, Duck Hunt Duck Hunt's a fun character to watch. Even if he, like, yeah. he, he's one of those characters where you know the player is playing super campy and lame, but it's still really fun to yeah, watch. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I feel that. Can combos are just fucking cool, even if they're, they're whatever. Yeah. Ryu and Ken look cool. They look even more interesting than Smash 4 to me. Yeah, I agree. Cloud, Cloud is We talked about Cloud nerfed, a bit. He's Cloud. Corrin. Mostly the same. I think a couple nerfs. Really? Counters nerfed, side B is nerfed. Movement system probably a little bit better though. For, for sure. Corrin. Yeah, down to running tilts will be really, really strong. I'm actually glad that Corrin's side B got nerfed. That was a big reason I stopped playing her, is because I felt like her her meta became too centralized on the pin. Like it was the thing that you should do. And in that every wasn't situation. fun to me, yeah. I was like, I'd wanna I wanna fight them. I don't wanna just use my get out of jail free card every time. Sure. Bayo is Bayo. Inkling is tied with Wolf for my next most interested character yeah, right now. Yeah, I agree. Inkling's an interesting archetype, too, in that Inkling's very fast as a character, but the moves have a lot of lag, and they're really big. Yeah. Um, so it's cool. I, I like Inkling. When Duck played the demo at Big House, I want to say, mm -hmm. one of the tournaments over the summer, uh, he was like, Inkling's going to be the worst character in the I game. I know, I heard that. <laughs> So we, we will find out if Duck is correct or not. So far, it seems like he's going to be super wrong, but who knows, man. It's, it's really hard to tell with a character like this that we have no data for yet. Yeah, and so this is like, now we get to most of the other real newcomers. Inkling's the newcomer, obviously. And this is who Mango wants to play. Yeah, but uh, so Ridley, definitely going to be playing some Ridley. I yeah. probably, I think probably I'm going to hate the way Ridley plays because I do not like big bodies that much. But Ridley is Ridley, dude. I'm yeah, Ridley is Ridley. Is, a, is a sick character. I have not... Like, so much of the hype died down pretty quickly once we started seeing gameplay. I think a lot of people weren't super happy with what they were seeing. Yeah. But I think pretty quickly we'll start learning how Ridley's supposed to play. I think right now people just don't have it figured out. Yeah, I agree. Belmonts. Belmonts look 
fucking sick and they look strong as shit so apparently you can catch the holy water yes <laughs> which is really funny which is really funny and also good because holy water is a launcher basically like a traditional fighting game launcher mm. and it leads into a ton of gross shit um these characters look sick I have a real soft spot for projectile characters who can use projectile characters for setups. I've talked on the show before about how my ideal character in a lot of ways, I don't even know if I'd play it, but just an archetype I think is really cool, is a character who puts out slow-moving projectiles that linger and that like create traps and limit movement options. Mm -hmm. um, and I've used the example of Emperor from Dissidia as someone who plays like that. Right, right. And these guys' big projectiles look really cool. And then they have a whip to keep out and if you get in on them it looks like it's not too good for them yeah i think it's a really fucking cool archetype and i'm definitely going to be messing around with richter for sure he's or so as pretty they call my richter richter and then we have king k rish I'm looking at the the list, and I'm really sad because there's very easy puns for him to make for every remaining character. <laughs> so, why do they all have your that sound in them? Like the remaining characters are King K. Rish, Rishabel, Inc Incinerish, and Pirisha Plant. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and those are my mains, guys. <laughs> <laughs> That worked out nicely. I should have started at Rishley. Yeah, Rishley too. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> All of the new All characters the, except for Inkling, Inkling and yeah. Simon. Yeah. And like Ken, I guess, but he's an Echo Fighter. Krish. That's what your Chrome is going to be called. Yeah. It's Chris, but by someone who has a lisp. That's really funny. Krish. Uh, King K. Rule, if you break his, his belly... <laughs> That clip you saw that clip. Is so stupid. He's at like 29%. <laughs> Falcon up smashes him and his stomach breaks. And then he's stunned and he dies at 30 to a Falcon Punch. <laughs> that That's a terrible mechanic, dude. So fucking Does it funny. only activate while he's trying to use his super armor? It must, right? And like, do you then regenerate it over time? I have no idea. Like, does that mean you have to stop using moves? <laughs> I mean, like, King K. Rule seems like such a cool character with a lot of cool things, but... That could be an enormous weakness for yeah. him. Yeah, I saw someone in the comments. Uh, who was it? It was a was it? I don't know. It was like a commentator, a well known commentator, but I forget who, saying he's so busted you don't even know. So maybe there's hope for King K. Rule, and this is just a big drawback. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I also want to say I'm so tired of hearing people's hot takes who have been playing the the, <laughs> the bad game. It's like we get it. <laughs> uh, Rishabel. Yeah. Looks cool. Sure. I saw some cool stuff with Rishabelle. Yeah. The fishing pole looks fucking sick. I haven't seen too much, but I've heard. No, she has some funny, funny, funny Look how cute this costume stuff. is. Um, I don't know that she's the type of character I'd enjoy playing, but yeah. Uh, Incineroar is like the only time a big body character has ever looked uh, appealing to me. Pretty yeah, much. he also has an awful recovery, so it'll depend on how, how people can utilize his onstage strengths and mix-ups and stuff. That is a... Fucking sick skin. The purple one, the Cheshire Cat one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god, <laughs> I know which Incineroar color I'm playing. Yeah. Wow, that is sick. And we don't have any gameplay for Parisha Plant. Parisha so. Plant doesn't even have his alt costumes. Yeah, we, we know what they are. Yeah, I think War, this is just War the. Champ just these are just. Fucked up. Well, these are the rent, like the true renders, right? Oh, true. And we don't true, have those for, for Plant. Yeah. Uh, well, wait, we should, I didn't even talk about alt costumes. Which other. Can you go to Simon? Sorry, uh, like Richter, my bad. Just different colors. That's fine. Ridley has good alts, I know. Uh, is there any other character whose alts I care about? What are Marth's? Are well, Marth's the same as usual? Yeah, I actually kind of like his green one in this game. Did you not um, like it in, in Smash 4? Not really. I played red and black in Smash See, 4. See, interesting. So I like a lot of these less than his Smash 4 colors. They all look very much just like a singular color is on them. Mm. And Smash 4, Marth's costumes were a lot of the time like a mix of a few different colors. Purple Marth in Smash 4 looks so... I love purple Marth. I still don't understand why we have three blue Marths. That one's purple, dude. This is... I mean, the purple cape. 
Well, in Smash Four, it looks more purple. In Smash Four, it's like I thought it looked more blue in Smash. 4. I like. But why? Why? Why are these so similar? I don't get it. Yeah, that I don't know. Uh, can you get a Chrome? The the this black is great, and great podcasting, by yeah. the way, guys. You can't see what we're talking about. Uh, suffice to say, there are some cool fucking costumes in this game. Yeah. Including. Well, my question for you is, which Pokemon trainer? Oh, uh, probably the brown one. Right. Yeah, that sort of looks like my skin tone, honestly. Yeah. And I wear blue a lot, so that's probably what. That was that was my pick too. That one, or honestly, probably any of the female ones. And then the this one I like too. Yeah. The the dude in the blue shirt. Yeah, I'm not quite that tan these days because I stay inside and never go outside. The, but that is what I look the, like if I go anywhere else. The thing is, it also depends on what color Pokemon comes with each. Oh fuck. Each trainer. Oh. Because they're in sets. Well, okay. So far, I'm fine with blue. Yeah. I just hate all the alternate ch color Charizards. Go to Charizard again. I didn't even realize this guy was like brownish. Yeah. The blue shirt. Yeah. Except yeah, the alternate color Charizards are so gross, dude. Oh my gosh. They're all so... Like, this one's fine. The red one. Ugly. And then the rest of them is just like... Actually, pink Charizard is not pink bad. Pink is fine. Pink is Yellow's fine. Yellow is gross. This one's actually gray also one fine. Is, gray one is fine. He looks but like a real dragon. Blue and purple, it's like, why are you playing just, blue or purple Charizard? Well, but they're just the wrong shade is the thing, too. They're such basic shades. Like, if that were a more teal blue... That would be sick. Then that would be sick. Yeah. I also don't know why shiny Charizard... Is well, what? What color is shiny? Shiny Charizard is black. Oh, it's black. Dude. Yeah. Why is shiny Charizard not in there? It's that like a make sense. sick fucking shiny. It's yeah. black with. Instead, we have red wings. Sickly yellow. <laughs> I've never understood. Yeah, the Ivy Store colors are all fine. Yeah, they're all fine, and Squirtles they're are all pretty much. They the actually same. all look the same. <laughs> the teal ones look better, I guess. But this one looks. Sick. They all look cool, actually. Yeah. They're all just shades of blue, and blue yeah, is a yeah, great yeah. fucking color. Yeah, so. it is. Cool. Um, I think we got to take a break from just going through the character roster, but once yeah. we're done with that, maybe we'll talk a bit about other community type Smash Ultimate things. Yeah, and exactly. And the, the game itself the, and what yeah. we're expecting yeah. coming up. Uh, and expecting from Dope Park on the Grass, which... Which we're both going to. You are going? I confirmed. Oh, sick. Nice. Okay, yeah. cool, 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 cool. Cool, 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 cool. We'll be right back. <laughs> Hey everyone, Zane here. Uh, let's keep this short and sweet, like the lollipop I just ate at midnight. Not a great idea there, but hey, we all make mistakes. Uh, thank you guys so much for listening. Hope you guys have been enjoying the episode so far. Um, just a few quick notes. We had our patron discussion right before this. I actually had to dip out because a light I was carrying from work broke as I came back into the apartment and I was on my phone before that. So that sucked. But something people brought up is that, um, especially with the last episode, timestamps are obviously something that would be very useful since our episodes run long since our episodes are variable length. Uh, on last episode, someone was telling us that he liked the, you know, sort of fluff, but the actual melee content of Summit was way more interesting, so having timestamps for that would be great, uh, which I totally agree with, and it was actually something I was thinking about already. So I know one person reached out before to say they would be willing to do timestamps for us. Uh, to be completely fair, uh, or to be completely honest, sorry, not fair, uh, being unfair by not providing you guys with timestamps. To be completely honest, Rishi and I just don't have time to do timestamps, but if one of you does, that would be great. Um, so reach out to us if you're at all interested in doing that. Obviously, not just like for free. We would work something out. Um, if you're not a patron, I think we would maybe maybe like make you a, a patron and give you all the access. Um, so yeah, reach out. I know one person was interested in that, and that would be really useful. Speaking of which, you should get into our patron uh, Discord, because then you can hear stuff like me breaking a panel light as I come into my apartment, trying to fix it for five minutes, and then getting yelled at by the man whose apartment I was sitting outside of, having a very stressful little moment. <laughs> that and much more in our patron chats. But yeah, um, it was a really good patron chat today, so we'd like most, more of you guys to be in there. Other than that, um, we got a fun episode for you guys coming up next week. 
Uh, I think you'll really enjoy it. Uh, no prizes for guessing what it might be, but I still think it'll be fun, and we're still going to not say what it is until then. But yeah, I think that basically does it. Um, hope you guys are enjoying the episode. And as always, reach out to us with any feedback, comments, concerns, etc. Uh, call out Rishi when he's wrong, and I don't say he's wrong because of his t- TPP. Power Shield doesn't make you able to act sooner. Uh, or reduce shields done. It just lets you drop shield and do a grounded thing. So army power shielding down tilt was nothing. <sighs> I really should have just called him out on that. I was so close to doing it. But I was like, no, Rishi knows what he's talking about. Rishi never knows what he's talking about. That's the moral of the story. I'm glad we all learned something today. All right. Love you guys. Hope you enjoy the rest of the episode. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back to Analog with the good Nintendo boy and also me. I don't know if I can co-op that term. You're, you're a good Nintendo boy, right? Am I? I mean, I, yeah, I, I haven't like done anything. You're, I think you're good. I think you're good to go. Like Unless... That yeah. whole discussion, by the way, has been <laughs> so annoying. Because I feel like... Oh my God, people are so fucking anal about like i understand not pirating the game and i respect your decision not to do it but people acting as if it's the end of the world that people are pirating this leaked game and yeah like you're killing all this work it's like it's it's very very strange to me well the thing is those are bad nintendo boys the ones who are saying that too or the ones who are pirating it those are neutral nintendo boys but the people the pirates are bad nintendo I boys see. i see i see we're good nintendo boys okay. well Speaking of bad Nintendo boys... <laughs> we're learning so much from them. We were just looking at a couple clips on, on Twitter, and, uh, and Zane here was saying, like, this is... It, it's so fake. Like, it's not a real combo, because you can literally see the min and max DI, and you can see that if they just press away at all, like, they're not going to get combo. Right? Yeah, this is the Falco combos I so was talking about. my thought on this is that it's like... It's like Smash 4 players finally discovered combos. And they're just so excited. I know. It's and so it, funny. It's really cute, honestly. Well, and it, it's, it's, fu- <laughs> it, like, it's fine because, so here, it starts with a dare, and yeah. the dare looks like it truly leads into things. And then the guy does a nair, and it immediately... It's done. It's <laughs> that done. combo's done. But, but <laughs> like, the thing that makes this still, like, a valid thing is if he had up-tilted after that instead of nairing... Then he can maybe okay. catch the DI away. Yeah, then he could catch the DI away, and, yeah. maybe, and maybe then it would actually but lead into a nair. Instead, he goes for, like, a running reverse jump nair for some reason. Which and... also, he, you can see, is completely yeah, not he, true anything the after. The way his momentum is, like, yeah. Oh, it's so bad. But look, at look. did you see that up-tilt? So the up-tilt... Yeah, running up-tilt is nice. The up tilt looks like it leads. It's true no matter what, and that's at a fairly high percent too. Yeah, yeah. So I, like I can 30, see up tilt, up tilt stuff being real. Yeah, and it looks like the range on that move is so much better now because it can pull you up from the ground, and the range kind of sucked in Smash Four. Yep. The the only like I kept trying while I played Falco in Smash Four, I kept trying to do like down throw pivot up tilt because I was like, this is the only time I can land that move. Um, but in case you guys didn't know from us talking about it, like. The way that running tilts work now is you just cancel your skid animation, mm-hmm. your run break. So you can do it at the end of your initial dash or at the end of any run. Yeah, and although a lot of this, um, a lot of the stuff that we've seen from these training mode stuff has been actually like not super true and more just demonstrating the mechanics of the game. One thing that has been interesting is people did already figure out a piece of tech that I think is actually going to be very, very useful, which is. If you do a run and then you try to turn around and then immediately cancel your turnaround with another forward thing, you basically get a boost animation. And so you can do oh, interesting. further sliding like uh, F tilts and up tilts and, and stuff. Is that different from doing a run break turnaround tilt? It's the same. Basically, you do the input that you would do for a run break turnaround tilt, and then you go back the way that you were facing, like also almost a pivot motion. Like a forward pivot. So if I motion. run to the right, what happens? You run to the right, and then you press back to go into the turnaround animation, mm-hmm. and then you immediately press forward, and the, the skidding from going into turnaround animation continues so into you're your canc- forward. So you're canceling the, the other run break animation. Yeah, you're canceling the turnaround run break. run break animation, 
with a forward tilt or Makes a sense. grab or an up smash That's or cool. whatever. Yeah. So it extends the range on stuff. That's cool. Yeah. I'm down with that. Yeah. Uh, I, I think they, they struck a good balance uh, in terms of like accessibility and how much lag there is for, for getting those things. Mm -hmm. Like it's, it's easier to execute a lot of this stuff than it is in Melee. Um, but it's a little, it's like a little bit worse. And that's fine yeah. with me. Yeah. No, it, the movement does genu genuinely look pretty okay. I definitely saw a clip where I forget what character it was, but they like did something on shield and then ran back, baited out the shield grab, ran back in and grabbed or something. I was like, yeah. oh, you couldn't do that before. That's pretty yeah. different. When I played the, the full character demo uh, a few weeks ago over Thanksgiving when I was back home, um, I was just like messing around with like Squirtle's dash dance. I was like, this feels pretty good. Yeah. Because I'm just like trying to use my own moves and like figure out my character's move set. And then like one of the randoms who was in the free throw with me try and fight me. So I just start dash dancing and I would just whiff punish everything he did with just like a short hop forward air. That feels good. One thing I do want to talk about is the input buffer mechanic. Have you read mm, about this? No. So the way the buffer works is much different than other Smash games. Really? You hold your input and it comes out on the first frame that you're actionable. Oh, interesting. Which I think a lot of people dislike generally because it's like you wake up, and if you're holding A, you'll jab on wake up. You just hold A, huh? and that's it. It's not the worst thing because so far I've seen two different videos and threads on tech that people have come up with taking advantage of the buffer system. Sure. One is a pseudo shield drop. Oh, I did see that. And that is used. That's using the buffer input method. Interesting. Um, it's not a true shield drop, but it is close. The other is a way to buffer wave dashes. So I didn't realize this. I think if you do a full hop, you can't wave dash. Well, I think they changed this. So I do think that in the version we played, like at the Nintendo Store a long time ago. Uh, wave dashing wasn't really in the game. It did seem like you were locked out even when you tried to do a short hop. I tried it again on the 70 plus character build. And same result. Yeah, so I think this is a different thing. I think it's for the full game. I think it's like a, a new change. No, I think it's the same. You just didn't do it with short hops? Yeah. Oh, interesting. Because the way I wave dash is with tap jump. But I wave dash. I but think you don't really think changed. about if you're doing your wave dash input and you don't go for the air dodge, are you full hopping or are you, t or are you short hopping? Okay, but everyone, everyone unanimously said that you would only get triangle jumps and you were locked but in. Then, but then we saw a clip of, uh, of the Ice Climbers player in Europe like actually getting a wave dash. Yeah, so I'm saying maybe they changed it. In, like, but that was a demo. It was a different demo. I don't know. This is, don't it was know. the same demo. Okay. okay. I never was. played on the one that had ICs in it. Yeah, nope. you did. Did that? Did were ICs in that? Yeah. Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> okay. So, anyways, but ba basically the point is, like, I think whether or not you wave you wave dash, actually might depend on whether your jump input is a short hop or a full hop, because I think the full hop locks you out of the early air dodge. And I think you can air dodge sooner with a short hop. Huh. So, so the method that this dude came up with, is like, you're buffering a jump and you're also buffering an air dodge. Oh, I got you. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. And it's a much easier method than melee wave dashing. So it, how do we? How do you feel about wave dashing in general? In ultimate? Yeah. I mean, it doesn't seem as nearly as useful as it is in melee. So I saw. It seems, in general, wave dashing from the ground seems fairly useless. Yeah. Uh, well, you because you might as well dash, right? You might as well dash, and there's a lot of end lag on wave dashing in this game. Mm -hmm. I saw PB and J said he was going to make a video about how. Certain characters wave dash allows them to act sooner, but I don't know about that. That sounds pretty fake to me. Yeah, it sounds fake. Uh, wave landing is cool. Yeah, it's just it's a movement option. Unfortunately, you can't slide off platforms. I know, but it's still it's there. Yeah. Yeah, I mean it's nice. More options. Yeah, more uh, options is always good. But I mean it is it does the the fact that wave dashing is mostly useless is partially because it's made to not be super useful mm -hmm. but it does have to be said that a large part of it has to do with the fact that you can dash back and do anything yeah uh, which is cool also mango went on a rant about this a week ago on his stream 
and I like super vibed with this rant. It it totally summed up the way I felt too. Sure. Basically, like we don't like melee because of wave dashing. No, of course not. We like melee because of the movement. Yeah. Like if you give us good movement options that are not wave dashing, I I will I'll never need to wave dash again. You know. Yeah. <laughs> like I just want to move freely and in a way that's really fun. So these dash mechanics might be enough. Yeah. Like it's very possible that that I'll be very satisfied and more than satisfied with the mechanics we have in Ultimate. Yeah. Um even if we never, you know, and I think we'll find uses for wave dashing regardless. Like just having more options, like every possible option that you can use in melee, people use them at some point. Mm -hmm. Right? Like nothing nothing gets left behind. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think we'll find uses for it in Ultimate. It just might not be as a primary usage like it is in Melee. That's totally fine. I want, I want a sidebar here uh, to, to a little Melee discussion. This is just a, a real like small thing. I, I told you how I was watching uh, old old Shiz videos for a thing. or Sorry, how I was just watching Shiz, Shiz's video from Summit and analyzing it. Mm -hmm. I've been watching old Shiz videos for a separate thing. Um, they were, he was doing some stuff back in 2009, dude. Like, some stuff that I did not expect him to be doing. Really? Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of dumb forward smashes. There's also a lot of, like, edge cancel lasers and stuff. Dang. Um, which is really, really cool. Um, like, edge cancel turnaround laser to grab wedge. He does that at one point. And the other sidebar from this is, so, in the course of watching old Shiz videos, I was watching Match 4, M2K versus Shiz, and, you know, the, the legendary cry to that is... For for everyone who said that set in Florida was the best set of all time, you're sadly mistaken. Mm -hmm. So I went and watched that set in Florida, which I which I'd never seen before. Um, it is so much better than the wrong <laughs> set. I saw your tweet about this. I didn't know what you were like. Have you ever watched it? I don't think so. Okay, so it's M2K versus Shiz at fast one. Okay. Uh, there's no commentary, but it goes game five, and it is so fucking sick. Like legitimately, would not. This is the match M2K is thinking of when he says 2009 M2K was good enough to, to be top 100 now. Sure. <laughs> uh, like not, but it, it really is. It's, it's a sick match. It's, for 2009 Melee, it looks remarkably modern and, and really, really sick. Dang. And, and ROM, the ROM set is really interesting because M2K was completely demoralized coming into that set. Because he had just lost to Mango in winners to his Puff, and mm -hmm. M2K could not beat Puff at the time. Yeah. The grand finals of ROM actually don't exist because they just, M2K just fucking like played Falcon and shit. It was super dumb. Wow. Um, uh, but so he's super demoralized coming in, but he's still, he plays pretty well. And it's not, it's not uh, Marth Falco until game three. Hmm. Uh, Shiz, Shiz plays Fox, and there's, a, there's Sheik involved. And then game three, M2K goes, M2K goes Marth on FD, and he fucking destroys Shiz. Right, right. And that's super hype. And then game four, game they four. go, they, but, but the rest of it's not Marth Falco. So it, it's only those last forgot that. two games that are super, super hype. Yeah. Uh, fast one, that set. Oh, my God. It's on Esam's channel. Really? Yeah, it's on Esam's channel. That's crazy. Who just hit, like, a crazy amount of subs. Um, like, I think he's close to 100,000 subs now. Dang. Or something. Um, he was part of that, like, Nintendo little thing they did. The ambassador thing? Yeah. Yeah. That's another cool thing, and that Nintendo has changed its rules for content creation. Mm -hmm. And they're, it's much easier for Nintendo, uh, for people using Nintendo games to make money. But anyways, yeah, I think uh, uh, if you've never seen that set in Florida, you should go watch it. It is so much better than the than the ROM set, legitimately. Dang. Yeah. It's, That's a big claim. The ROM set's still cool, and it's a huge moment. It's just that the Fast 1-1 one one has no What commentary. if you just took Game 4 and compared it to the whole set? No, it's still it's still better. Dang. It's a really, really good set, and it's like last stock every game except for Game 5. I'll have to watch it. Yeah, it's super, super sick. Also because I think also Game 4 has aged in terms of the actual melee being played, a lot more poorly. Mm. Um, because the last two, the gimp that M2K gets at the end is so fucking stupid. Yeah. It is the dumbest. It is so stupid. Pretty sure we still see that in modern melee. What was it? Down throw, down tilt? 
something like that? No, it's it's down to a runoff forward air, and she just double jumps oh, yeah. into the fair. That works. Yeah, I know, but like <laughs> it's it's a it's a dumb one. <laughs> yeah, but it works. It does work. It does work. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, go watch that fast one set. It's super sick. And on Esam's channel. On Esam's channel. And uh, now we can get back to Ultimate, which also is on Esam's channel. <laughs> there we go. Esam might be the best Smash Ultimate player. Could be. We'll see. So that's something. This is a. This is actually a nice segue. So we're both going to be going to Don't Park on the Grass, mm -hmm. which is the first Smash Ultimate major. It comes, yes. The tournament happens like a week after yes. the game comes out. Um, not a lot of top talent is going. Mm -hmm. The topest talent that is going is Esam. Yeah. Uh, so let's take a look right now and see who do you think is going to win at Don't Park. Because I think Esam's going, I think MVD is going. And then other than that, I think most people are taking the time to lab for Genesis. Which is really surprising to me. Smosh Ultimate? Well, this is not by... Just go to attendees. Yeah, just the regular attendees list. Yeah. Yeah, it's mostly melee players. And then Esam... MVD. Me. Mm -hmm. Why'd you laugh? Captain L. <laughs> Captain L, also Captain a Pikachu L. player. Yeah, there's a lot of melee players going. Yeah. Oh my god, there's so many. So it looks like it might be the battle of, of Esam and MVD, and both their characters got... Oh, but MVD's going to be playing Snake. Yeah, he'll definitely <laughs> be playing Snake. <laughs> I don't recognize any other Smash 4 players. Maybe they haven't seeded some of them either. It's possible. Yeah. But I thought this was like... It's not a big tournament for, Smash, like, for yeah. Smash 4, yeah. For Ultimate, I mean. Well, how many entrants are in Ultimate? That's, that's the real question. 408? Dang, I mean, that's big. Yeah, so I don't know. We'll see. You think? But do you think there's going to be someone who's going to come out the gate swinging? Someone maybe who is a bad Nintendo boy? That's what I'm wondering, is like, how many bad Nintendo boys are going to Don't Park? Here's the thing, though. I don't think it matters. I don't think anyone... Or girls. Bad Nintendo girls. Yeah, too. true. Uh, bad Nintendo gamers. <laughs> like... I, I think... Um... <laughs> did you see Milo's tweet that blew the fuck up? I did. He, he, he showed it to me while I was streaming. I saw it when it had like 30 likes, and I was like, oh, God. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> um... I think the vast majority of bad Nintendo gamers are not good enough for it to make a difference. No, I think you so. Know what I, mean? I think so too. But I think that maybe there's some. You yeah, know who, who's some. definitely going to this tournament who might do well is Vincent. You know Vincent, the Peach Rings, player. Rings a bell. Yeah, he's he's um Vincent's a really funny guy. So he went to Penn. Uh, I know a bunch of people who went to Penn with him, and he was mostly a Smash 4 player, like that's what he wanted to be, mm -hmm. but he was always better at Melee than he was at Smash 4 in the grand scheme of things. Yeah. So he's like the, he's was I think the best Smash 4 player at Penn, and then I think he was like maybe the third or fourth best Melee player, but he's like, he's beaten some pretty big names before in Melee, and he, you know, will make it to like, he'll get like top 64 at majors and Dang. stuff. And he does not do as well in Smash 4. He still does really Look well. Look at this guy, though. What? Yeah. No fucking way. Yeah. Gimpy Fish. The legend. Gimpy Fish is going? He's entering ultimate, apparently. That's sick. That is sick. That's super sick. <laughs> we can preview Don't Park on the Grass in general next week because yeah. I'm really, really excited for it as a melee tournament. Mm -hmm. uh, you didn't... Remember, we talked about this man and you... Frenzy. You were like, oh, his ninth place. We're talking about Frenzy. And you were like, oh, his ninth place finish was just blah, 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 whatever. I think he's going to. Just to be clear, I never off. trash talk Frenzy. No, but. I, I'm just making, I don't remember what you're talking about. He got. But if I, were to, if I were to comment on it now, I would just say that sometimes high placings are a result of brackets. I, and that's not, that's no shade on anyone. No, I agree. It was after <laughs> SmashCon when yeah, Frenzy when, did really... When he got ninth. Yeah, when Frenzy did really well, and I brought up the idea that I think European players are underseeded. Ah, okay. Um, because we've seen a lot of them come over and make these runs. Wabinki being another one who did really well, like, comparative to his seed. Yeah, but it's 
easier to justify seating someone like Frenzy or Lavingi low than it is to seed them high. Yeah, oh, 100%. Right? Oh, I agree. I just think they probably... I, it's more a discussion of how I don't think we have an accurate skill perception of them. Sure. And it's very hard to. And that's to. totally and true. It's not, and it's not, that's, like, it's yeah. very hard to. That's totally true that in non-North American players, there's a, there's a, usually the perception of skill, whether it be too high or too low, is there. Is wrong, you mean? Is, yeah, yeah people like, have the wrong perception. perception. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah, so, we'll, we'll talk more about. Also, like, someone was coming, I saw a comment on Reddit, I think, about San, and they're like, well, wow, based on watching Son like this weekend, he could be like you know top forty or something. Yeah, I did see that. And then someone else is like, he got, you know, some bad placing at Genesis, and it's like, well, I do. What think... about all the North American players who sometimes do have a good right, run see, and that, then do awfully? Right, that's the other thing. Yeah, if you've ever seen Son play, and like watched him play, I do actually think it's a fair statement to see he could be like a top, a top sure. fifty player. He did. He beat Amsa. Yeah, but, I mean, and that's different too. But um, yeah. But it's like there's like it's everyone's like that. Everyone yeah. can make these runs. Everyone can beat top players, uh, and then most of them also have mostly bad performances. Son is just right? a genius, wasn't it? Wasn't it? Was it you guys that were playing when the shield got broken? No, I don't remember. At Genesis, Son and Amsa teamed, and they we did play them. Yeah, but Wad, I don't Wad don't... shield got broken. Oh, did it? Yeah. I, don't, I just don't remember. Uh huh. Okay. I actually don't remember. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was, I think it was you okay. guys. Yeah. I saw the set pop up recently. I just didn't watch it, but I yeah. saw it on like a YouTube side yeah, thing. Yeah, Son and Oms are a fucking sick team. Um, yeah. You've, you've played against Oms a lot in teams recently. I have. I think I've played him four times this year in teams. Gommel, in Genesis, Summit. Gommel twice. Yeah. Uh, yep. Yep. Uh, do we have any more smush, smush, smush stuff to talk about? Um, I mean, there's there's so much to say, but it's like, what do we want to comment on? <laughs> what do we say before my camera dies? My oh, camera dies, man. we'll just keep going. I don't know why I charge it at work all day today. I don't know, it's a fucking piece of shit. I don't know. I mean, I, I could ramble about Ultimate for a long time, but the bottom line is everything's going to change in the next few days. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's the that's the biggest point, right? Yeah, like even for melee too, like things are gonna change uh, fundamentally. I don't know how, but they will. Yeah, in organizational standpoints too, and that's I think our cue. Yeah. To the end of the episode. Yeah, I'm camera, sorry about camera that. died right on right on schedule. But I think I mean we don't really have that much more to say. Everything is going to to change. I think uh, I think. The Smash scene is in for some big shakeups in general, in a good yeah. way. Yeah, fully. Good final way. final thoughts. I think it's going to change, uh, and I think in a good way specifically. Okay, so the thing I just said, and um, basically, it's it's an original thought of mine <laughs> that Ultimate will be good for all Smash games. <laughs> And there you have it. Did I say this on? Did I say this on uh, on our episode last time or off the air? I think it was off the episode where some people were commentating uh, at Summit, and they were talking about you. Mm -hmm. and I'm like, yeah, you know, I was commentating with Rishi earlier, and I just can't tell I what he's talking. I, yeah. Whether he's just being a complete idiot or whether he's joking. Yeah. <laughs> He says the dumbest shit. Someone else, someone else was like, uh, talking ab about me and saying like, I don't know if he's being a troll or completely serious. And Scar was like, it's both at the same time. <laughs> which is, which <laughs> is, oh, it's the worst. You're the worst. <laughs> I think Scar understands your humor very yeah, well. Yeah, I love Scar, dude. <laughs> all right, that's all the time we have for today, guys. Because yeah. I also have to go get a haircut. You will see us next week with a very special episode. Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah, fun episode next week. Stay tuned. Yeah, and we recommend... I don't think it'll take too much uh, guesswork to figure out what the episode <laughs> is. Yep, we're yeah. going to play DBFC. All right. <laughs> Bye, guys. Thanks. Thanks.